Okay, this uh, is going to tell you where to find the Excel add-ins, uh, especially the thermodynamic suite of add-ins for Microsoft Excel to give you functionality to find properties for steam, um, various refrigerants, and uh, some ideal gas tables as well. So, uh, first you want to go to the website that is at www.me.ua.edu slash Excel, E X C E L. www.me.ua.edu slash Excel. And as you can see, this throws you to a site that has um, some different types of uh, add ins for Microsoft Excel to. Um, help with mechanical engineering calculations. So if you will follow the thermodynamics tab here on the left, that will take you to a page that describes some of the uh, software here. There are a lot of individual modules for the various uh, functions that are listed below here but um, the one that you really want to get is this one that's called thermo.msi. This is a Microsoft installer file and it has uh, everything that you need uh, to, to get you going on the um, add-ins for thermodynamics for Microsoft Excel. So if we download this thermo.msi And, uh, oh gosh, I guess I've got a bunch of them already downloaded, but yes, we'll say go ahead and replace it. And so now it's downloaded, we still need to run it to uh, accomplish the installation. So to get, give it a double click, and you do have to, uh, under Windows 7 at least, give permission to run this uh, installation program. And, uh, that then brings up the, the installer, which is, is very simple. It's just a question of uh, giving permission to, to proceed. And say, yes, you, you really want to do this. And what this installer does is it uh, creates a folder on the system drive and places an Excel add-in um, file. Uh, thermo.xlam, which means it has macros in it. Uh, it also goes into uh, sets of registry entry so that when you open Excel, it will allow the macro to automatically execute. Um, this can be a security issue if there is malicious software. Uh, however, uh, the only reason for this is to allow the add-ins to initialize uh, properly uh, when they when they open up in Excel. So that uh, takes care of the installation. And now, when you go into Excel. I'm waiting for it to open. Uh, let's see if I can get part of this onto the screen for us. Uh, when you go into Excel, this is the macro that needs to be able to, to run. It just initializes uh, these tables, but it also throws up a splash screen that just notifies you that the add-in is installed and it's available. Um, so. Uh, this welcome screen just to also acknowledge uh, one of the earlier developers um, gave uh, their software for this and it's been recognized here. Uh, Excel Steam Tables originally by Magnus Holmgren uh, and his, his website is here. However, uh, we've substantially modified these and enhanced them uh, quite a bit and uh, added all of these 
psychometric functions and various refrigerant properties uh, to this to this database. Okay, so that's that's it for the uh, installation. Uh, so so what what does it do? Uh, it should make available to you a suite of functions. If you bring up the function help here uh, in Excel and now scroll down in uh, this list, excuse me, scroll down into the list of available uh, add-ins or functions that you want to see. Down near the bottom of this list, you'll see the, the classes of functions that have been added um, from the thermo add-in. So that would be the R134A, R22X Steam is the Steam tables, the Psychrometrics R410A and R407C. So, for example, if you want to see what Steam functions are available, if you click on X Steam, it brings into the window down below here a list of the functions and a very uh, brief uh, description of how that function works. So for example, uh, just to choose a random one in the list, um, HL. Uh, I need to point out that in the add-ins, the subscript L is used for the saturated liquid whereas in classical thermodynamics uh, the letter F is used for um, for saturated liquid uh, and uh, the subscript V capital V refers to the vapor phase whereas in the classical thermodynamics uh, the letter G would be used so we have HV for the vapor phase and HL for the liquid phase but what this means here is that HL the liquid enthalpy is a function of the pressure and of course it's for H2O and what it says here is that you give the, the pressure and then uh, this flag for units just uh, is an indicator as to whether you're going to use English units um, or if you're going to use the standard SI units. So the default is SI and if this word uh, units uh, is specified as ENG, then, then you'll get the units in, in English, which are, are listed below here. Uh, another uh, random function here is to look at the uh, entropy, S, as a function of pressure and temperature. And of course, this is for H2O. So uh, once you get used to this naming convention, you understand that the first letter designates the property, the next two letters designate the two properties that will be used to calculate uh, the, the property of interest. So here entropy S is a function of pressure and temperature. Okay, so a simple example of how that function might work. Uh, let's just say that if we wanted to know uh, the enthalpy of as a function of pressure and temperature again for H2O then uh, if the pressure were uh, 4000 kPa and the temperature were 400 degrees C then the uh, enthalpy would be uh, 3214 and the units would be kilojoules per kilogram. We could go back to the help file to, to find that out. And likewise, if we wanted to know the um, enthalpy as a function of uh, temperature, pressure and temperature uh, for water uh, at 600 PSIA and uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, we would have to put in here the units ENG like this. And now uh, this is BTU per pound. 
So that's a quick introduction on how to uh, find the add-ins on the internet, download them to your computer, and install them, and a very uh, quick introduction in terms of how to browse the library and utilize a couple of the functions.